In this video, we'll be talking about DNA gyrase. So d here are the key points regarding DNA gyrase. It's a bacterial enzyme which is involved in DNA replication and DNA repair. It belongs to type 2 topoisomerase family of protein. Al already the name suggests it sort of like uh, modify the topology of the DNA. It introduces negative supercoils into the DNA to relieve torsional strain during replication or even the process of transcription. It's important to note that gyrase inhibitors are widely used. So gyrase inhibitors are several antibiotics such as fluoroquinolone, namely ciprofloxacin, which can actually inhibit the DNA gyrase enzyme to prevent the bacterial growth because without this particular enzyme activity, there is positive supercoil which accumulates. This disrupts the DNA replication in bacteria. Now let's talk about what is the supercoiling problem. Imagine you are holding a rope, one side you are holding it and from another side you are trying to unwind it. But due to the torsion that is already there, it is super difficult to separate it properly. When you start separating it, after a point of time it would wind up within itself. This is the supercoiling problem. And that is actually faced by the E. coli because E. coli has huge amount of DNA and in order to pack it properly within the small volume, it has to supercoil the DNA and it's essential for E. coli. Now there are specific enzymes which can unwind the DNA during processes like transcription and replication and that is super important for this biological process to occur. There are category of topoisomerase enzyme which can relieve the stress. Okay, this is a bacterial nucleoid where you can see these are the DNA loops and basically these kind of DNA loops can are super coiled. Eventually the double uh, helix actually coils upon itself. If one strand of this double helix is cut, then the DNA would lose up and it would dissipate the tension. And this kind of things are done by topoisomerase class enzymes. DNA gyrase is actually topoisomerase type 2 enzyme because it cleaves both the strand of DNA. It introduces a double strand break and pass the strand through this kind of loop. So this is basically a portion of the loop where two sides of the loop are in different color. This is how DNA gyrase recognize one section of the double stranded DNA. It introduces a double stranded DNA break. Always look at the black strand. Then it passes this particular red strand through this particular groove and forms a particular twist. And this is how it introduces a negative supercoil in this DNA. So the job of DNA gyrase is to introduce a negative supercoil in the DNA. And this kind of underwound DNA is really important because negatively supercoiled DNA is essential for transcription or replication process. So this is the structural details of the particular enzyme DNA gyrase and these data is obtained from the published uh, extra crystallographic structure and those kind of co-crystallized uh, structural transients help us to understand how the enzyme possibly work. So here you can see there are two major uh, subunits, guide A and guide B. Note the guide B is the blue one, guide A is the yellow one. And so this is how it works. So initially, when the DNA binds, there is a ATP hydrolysis. ATP hydrolysis dimerize the guide B domain. Eventually, two molecule of ATP binds to this particular enzyme in the guide B subunit. Then there is a segment of the DNA which is known as T segment or the transfer segment. It starts passing through the uh, enzyme and move. Note that the other guide A acts as a cutter. So it cuts and introduces double stranded brick in the DNA. And this is how it would be easily passing another strand through this gap. It's important to note that how these DNA cutting happens. It turns out there are specific tyrosine residues which has nucleophilic sources. So nucleophilic attack is the mechanism by which the DNA is cut. So it forms a transient DNA enzyme hybrid which later on gets uh, changed. So from a clinical perspective, it's important to know 
that it, it's important to note that fluoroquinolones are a group of antibiotics that inhibit DNA gyrase. They act by binding the A subunit of DNA gyrase and they allow the enzyme to cleave the DNA but doesn't allow it to repair it. So there are DNA double-stranded breaks which would eventually in an unrepaired state would eliminate the bacteria. Some example of fluoroquinone loans are ciprofloxacin, levofloxacin, norfloxacin, olfloxacin, etc. So I hope this video was informative and useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can support our channel using Paytm, PayPal or UPI. See you in next video.